it's thrifty tiffany and i am back with a cook with me so cash is going to be coming to visit us for dinner this evening and i'm going to be making by his request white chicken enchiladas i do have a video that i filmed years ago on my channel making them it's an easy simple recipe um, i will link that in the description box and this is going to be spread out throughout the day because right now it's about 3 30. just picked up came in from work and i want to go ahead and tackle the churro bars because I'm going to be making churro bars for dessert. If you're on my Instagram, if you're not, definitely check me out over there, Thrifty Tiffany 35. I did like a shop with me on my stories. So I was picking up some ingredients and I also got these glasswares for him to take because he wanted to take some. He's like, make enough where I can take some with me. So I got him this container for his churro bars and you can write any race on the top of this. So I can leave him a note or just put what it is on there or the date. And then this is going to be for his um, white chicken enchiladas. So it will be dinner tonight, but he wanted to take leftovers or extras with him to college. So I got him the glass also so he can microwave it to keep it warm, whatever he wants to do. But we're going to start with churro bars. So one thing I do have to say, because I wasn't, I didn't even know I was going to film this until I put up a poll on my Instagram. Everybody said they would like, well, most people said that they would like for me to film and cook with me. So I already started the chicken over there. I just boiled it. You can buy rotisserie chicken. You can boil chicken. You can do canned chicken. I don't prefer canned chicken, but you can. It is an option. If you have leftover chicken, just chicken, because you got to shred it. So I already cooked some, but I'll show you that when, when we start cooking that. First, we're going to start with churro bar, so I can go ahead and get that done. And the oven is open for dinner. So it's around 3.30, we're gonna get started. I hope everyone is doing well today and you're happy and you're healthy and things are going good. Oh, I wanna try these too. Have y'all ever tried these? I've heard a lot of talk about these things. The Dots Home Stop, you know what, let's just try it real quick. This has absolutely nothing to do with this video, but let's try it, y'all. I might make a cocktail in this video too because I made a lemon, I might make a lemon job. I made a lemon drop the other day. I have all the ingredients. We might make us a little cocktail while cooking. I love having a cocktail while cooking. These are what they look like. I'm sure you've tried them, but everybody keeps talking about these. Honey mustard. Everybody said the honey mustard. So let's taste. Huh. Oh, yeah. Mmm. That was right here, y'all. Mmm. So these are good. Mm hmm <laughs> All right. Let's get started on some churro bars. Let's go over ingredients really quick. It's very easy, very simple, and I'm telling you, this will be your family's go-to little dessert. Quick and easy for a company also, and during the holidays, is perfect. So you'll need some ground cinnamon, vanilla, baking powder, one cup of butter, um, eggs, two eggs, brown sugar. I have a mix of light brown sugar, dark brown sugar so you can use whichever one you want honestly um you'll need regular sugar which is in that canister back he right here you'll need flour and then put it together it's so simple y'all also just had to share with you my beautiful flowers if you're on my instagram you will have seen them so kroger when i went to go get the stuff for the white chicken enchiladas kroger has a flower clearance section so these in the middle were gifted to me but i bought these two on the side today at Kroger. $6.99 for the bouquet. You can get 12 roses for $4, but these beautiful bouquets I'm about to show you up close. I just want you to look at all the different colors, how beautiful orange roses. It's got the bright pink. Like this is stunning. It's absolutely beautiful and it's huge for $6.99. These were gifted to me. I love white roses always. And then look at this one. I've had one like this before. So, so pretty. Like look at these and these and it's, look at this. It's so beyond pretty. $6.99 y'all. So if that's what makes you happy, don't wait for somebody else to gift it to you. Buy yourself some flowers, make yourself happy. These are so pretty. I love them. Nothing like fresh cut flowers in the house to brighten your day. So definitely, this is a sign. If you're just having a, a low day, a bad day, go treat yourself on clearance flowers from Kroger. And the vases are from Dollar Tree. Yes, ma'am. 
And then before we start cooking, let's take a chance to talk to the little babies. Fella, you're going to say hey to everyone? Stella Mae. Stella Mae, what are you doing, pretty girl? What are you doing? Guess who's in Mama's room? Ella. Ella, are you in Mama's room on her bed? Yeah, on her bed. Pretty girl. We're about to get started. My lights up here have went out. I have the that one still on, but just, it's a little dark. Sorry about that. So this is very simple. Literally, this is the ingredients. Um, very simple, very straightforward. I love them, they're quick and easy. So we're gonna start with a cup of butter. And this is not a healthy recipe. This has sugar and butter, y'all. So it's a, it's a treat for us. The last time I think I made them was when we had Cinco de Mayo. So it's been a while, but it's really good. Or no, I actually made them one other time because the kids ate them. So I made them again. So one cup of butter. And we're going to put one cup of regular sugar and one cup of brown sugar. One cup leveled out but one cup of dark brown. And the reason I'm using this instead of this because all this won't fit in there. So We also gotta put this on 350. I'm just gonna pour some vanilla. It says one and a half teaspoon, but you know, I just kind of just pour. A little sprinkle of salt. Also one and a half teaspoon. This is a half, so I gotta do, oh my gosh, that just went everywhere. Three of these. Literally just got all over me, y'all. <laughs> Bacon powder is one teaspoon. So two of these. Two eggs, and these are at room temperature. Everything was at room temperature. I had it setting out since this morning. When you bake, just go ahead and have everything ready, like your butter and your eggs sitting out for you. That's literally it, y'all. Now we're gonna mix it and then put together the topping in here. And the topping in here is just cinnamon and sugar. And this is my mixing bowl from Dollar Tree. It's literally my favorite. The topping we're gonna do one fourth cup of brown sugar and then one and a half teaspoon of cinnamon. My bad y'all, it said regular sugar. Um, so I'm gonna change this. All right, got a cup of sugar and some cinnamon. This is just the topping. Look how good it looks. And then th this is the topping and we're going to put it in here. I'll take your nine by 13, use some spray. I use this Baker's Joy. Add this in here again, your oven is on 350. I'm telling y'all, this is so simple. This looks, oh my gosh. Did I not add flour? Y'all saw my mess up. <laughs> now to add flour, y'all. Two and one fourth cup of flour. One fourth. Now mix. Y'all, I'm leaving that whole part in where I missed the flour because I'm real, just like you guys. I forget stuff all the time. I forgot the main, the main thing when I was pouring it in there. I was like, hold up, that's not thick enough. So here we go. Now that is the batter. Now she's thick, y'all. Now she's thick. I need to respray the pan. She is ready. Round two with spray. Now this looks right. All right, just put it in there and then we're gonna smooth it out. All right, just level it out. All on the bottom. Again, it fits a nine by 13 and it's gonna look thin. You're gonna be like, what? But you remember you put two eggs in there. So it's gonna, it's gonna make a brownie, y'all, and it's literally so good. And these would honestly be so good with, topped with like a cr cinnamon cream cheese. They do have a recipe of that on Google as well. I just got this recipe off Google and I Googled it on Cinco de Mayo and it's been one of our favorites ever since. Like this is a go-to dessert. If you're in a hurry, it won't take long and feeds a lot of people and it's really good. So if you have a party like Halloween coming up, Christmas coming up, Cinnamon goes for all of that, y'all. Cinnamon and sugar, yes, ma'am. Christmas morning, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. These are so good. Again, you could do an icing, um, whatever you want. It's still raw. Before we put it in the oven, you gotta put cinnamon and sugar on top. This looks like a lot, y'all. 
sometimes well the first time i used it all because it said so it said very liberally in the recipe but the second time i was like oh i could go a little lighter so just you can use your hands or you can use a spoon sometimes your hand works better because it gets it even just do the cinnamon sugar all over the top and you could get creative y'all if you want it like in the holidays you could put some nutmeg you could do all spice pumpkin spice you can get as creative as you want these could be pumpkin spice bars you know so good so i'm gonna use my hands to go around I might hold off on some of this in the oven it goes 350. the timer just ended but i think i'm gonna leave it a little longer um it said 25 to 30 and it's only been in there 25 so look how it's looking just a little longer i just took it out look how good it looks it'll get like a little brown around the edges and that is done so i'm gonna let that rest that is dessert tonight and again whipped cream all the different toppings if you want and honestly it's just fine how it is um it's really good with vanilla ice cream on top too though but we're just gonna let this cool i'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on it as well so gonna get started on the chicken enchiladas here soon it is 458 now um, I already boiled the chicken earlier today before I knew I was going to be doing a video. But what I did was I used bouillon. I did water and then not this one. This is the beef. I used the rest of the chicken, but it came, it can't, it was this brand. Or you can use the Dollar Tree brand. They have the Leaping Leopard. I just boiled the chicken with that, with a bouillon. And I added this Chicken Delight. I got this from, is it Marshall's? Somewhere there was a tag. Oh, right there, TJ Maxx. So I had got this, so I boiled it with that. If you guys can see that and the bouillon cube. A cube or powder, whatever you want, but I boiled it. And then for the recipe, you're gonna need two cups of chicken stock. So you're gonna just use that same liquid. So don't pour it out. Also, you're gonna need sour cream. I have this, so we're gonna kind of make this kind of healthier um just a few ingredients again that's just chicken breast uh with bouillon cube seasoning and water and then we have this good cultured sour cream and you're going to need some diced green chilies monterey jack cheese i already pre-sliced this i bought some sliced cheese in kroger but i also had a block here so i went ahead and shredded the block of cheese there you need i believe two cups or more and then i have the carb balanced flour tortillas so we're going to use these and we're going to do our whole a little assembly line of wrapping them up and then first we got we're going to have to make the sauce with these and then you need flour also so um yeah we'll get started in just a second Bella, Bella. what are you doing pretty boy there's stella Bella. look how pretty stella is stella and there's my Kaya. <laughs> also for this recipe, you're gonna need some adobo seasoning if you want, adds flavor. So I'm just shredding all the chicken with my hands. If you're busy and you just wanna throw it together, get you some rotisserie chicken from the store and just shred it up. I shredded up the chicken. I'm gonna add a little bit of adobo to the already cooked chicken. Mm, this stuff smells so good. Not too much. And you can add a little bit of, add some black pepper. Now we're gonna start assembling the tortillas. Here. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. That adobo is so good. I'm gonna take our low carb tortillas. I get this big pack from Costco. We eat a lot of them. So it usually makes, I believe eight to 10 of these. So have you a big casserole dish. We'll start rolling. Spray your casserole dish. Then I'm gonna mix this chicken with this cheese for the inside mixture, but save some of the cheese for the top. Um, but yeah, this is just canola. And I might be making two because Cash wants extra. So it depends on how much I have enough room for. I do have two pans, but I'm not gonna spray that until I see how much I have. So I'm gonna mix in half of this cheese in, it, in the mixture. And then I have a whole nother bag of cheese right here. So. Gonna mix, mix it in the chicken mixture. So I like green in my foods, especially when it's just white chicken. Enchilada, see how like light that is? It's seasoned, but I'm gonna add some chives in there and also to the top. 
just gives it flavor. So I'm gonna put a good amount in here, y'all. Give it some green. Just look at that mixture, y'all. It looks so good. All right, so now we're just gonna start making them and filling up the pan. Just put your mixture in there. As big, as skinny as you want, depending on how many people you're making them for. Like that. And it's not going to be dry because the amount of sauce that we pour over it soaks into it when it bakes. And it's so, so good. This is what it looks like. Now just keep doing that through all of yours that you have. Then you just roll it like a regular, like a little roll. Hold on, let me. I like my little rolls tight because once it fills up with stuff, it's going to expand. And then take your dish, butter dish or a spray dish, and just start piling them up like this. And we're gonna go all the way up the pan. And lay them down on their, the side that you folded over so it doesn't come unraveled. We have them all rolled and I have two. We have to make a roux. So we need to heat three tablespoons of butter with three tablespoons of flour. So you gotta make your roux and then we're gonna add the chicken broth right here and whisk it all together. Now we're gonna add the chicken broth a little at a time, a little at a time. And see how it thickens up like this? That's why you gotta add a little, you don't want clumps. Little at a time, little at a time. Work it in there. This is where a lot of people mess up when you don't ease it in there. I'm gonna keep doing this and I will be back. Look how smooth this baby's getting. No clumps, see the smoothness? Just take your time. Now we gotta taste the sauce y'all where it's at right now. Added a little bit of adobo to the sauce as well, just a little bit. And then we gotta add it, we gotta finish the sauce with sour cream and green chilies. But you wanna cook the chicken broth with the flour and butter mixture. Oh my gosh. Mmm. And put some of these chilies in here. Y'all, I added just a little bit of chives into the sauce mix as well. And in a minute, we're gonna add the sour cream because once you put the sour cream in there, you can't add, bring it to a boil. A cup of sour cream. I just turn the sauce off and then we're gonna add the sour cream and mix it. Look at this white sauce. It's looking so good. It's got the green chilies in there. Again, turn it off before you put the sour cream in. And now we're about to pour it over the enchiladas. Here goes some magic, magic. And it'll thicken up even more when you put it in the oven. I gotta save some for this one over here. Ooh, I'm making a mess. Oh, it's gonna be so good, y'all. Now we're gonna add more cheese to the top. I cannot wait for dinner. I'm so glad Cash requested this. I text him, he better be on his way too. It's um, it's five something right now. Now to add the chives, it's getting so dark in here. Chives, give it a pretty, chives, green onions, parsley. This is what it's looking like. And look at all the, the sauce down there. That's what it's looking like. Now I'll pop them in the oven. So for tonight's drink, y'all, I made some rum. Well, I didn't make it. Well, I made the drink. <laughs> but I used this Malibu mango rum, passion fruit sparkling water, and a little bit of the syrup from the mar maraschino cherries and a cherry, and it's so good. I was going to do my lemon drop martini, but I had that the other day, and I wanted something different. Look how it's looking, y'all. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Dinner is done. Look how good that came out. This one, and here are the churro bars. 
Y'all, this looks crazy, but they are so, so good. Oh, look at these churro bars. Fella? <laughs> he's showing his teeth. He's hungry. <laughs> he really thinks he's about to get some, y'all. Y'all, he is watching Cayman's every move of this churro thing. Like, every move. Look at him! And we're waiting on Cash to get here. But dinner is ready! All right, y'all. Cash is home. He came to get some <laughs> my mama's good cooking! I came, to get it to, I came to get it to go. <laughs> no, you're not getting it to go, Cash. Don't be like that. I'm getting it to uh -uh, go. Are you excited? Look, I made even more. I made extras. Then let me just take that home. No, no. Boy, you're going to sit down and eat with us. And um, then, um, the aren't you excited about the churro bars? Are you excited about the churro bars? I, I really wasn't planning on eating them. I know. I, it was a surprise. Yeah. Both times I closed, I walk in there with props. And that's it. <laughs> Look how Bella's sitting. <laughs> Or Mr. Cash. Or Mr. Cash. There's Fella. He's always got to be around. Look. He's always. <laughs> Bella, what are you doing? Why are you sitting like that? Why are you sitting like that? Come here. Come here. 